Tutungeni is home to about 5,000 residents. Most of them are from the low-income group who came to Roshpina in search of jobs and better living conditions. They were given urban to erect makeshift structures on which they can later build brick houses, but the settlement does not have basic amenities such as ablution facilities and proper sanitation. The residents claim that the pit latrines are not very deep and fill up quickly, while the removal from Roshkor can take up to weeks, leading to overflowing toilets being closed during that time. They are sitting in those, those, those buckets, submitting with us. It's very hard for us. And also the children mm, play around the, the toilet also. Children are also affected by diseases such as diarrhea that come from unhygienic conditions due to a lack of proper sanitation. Community health officer in the Ministry of Health, Erickson Nyambe, notes that the ministry started to invest in health education to teach the community on how to maintain cleanliness to reduce illnesses. We used to get uh, these things which we call it in the statistics each and every month about the health issue. Really, the statistics they, at the clinic they used to get higher, but we used to try our level best to give them education. How should they prevent about those things? According to the meeting, they received feedback that the government heard their plight and have sent out teams from the Department of Planning and Rural Development to investigate on how a proposed network would look like, but nothing has materialized so far. The residents also want a waterborne network that will flush the waste away and also provide them with taps at their individual houses as they claim that they are paying for these services.